I just filmed an entire intro for this and realized my mic was on mute, so that's fun. But today we're going to be going into something that I love, Animal Crossing. But we're going to be building the house in The Sims. So let's get into it. Okay, so the thing is, we can't exactly like obviously build it too true to Animal Crossing. But we can build it true enough, right? So I think hmm, that worked. If you haven't played Animal Crossing, um, I would hate to live that kind of life. I love Animal Crossing. I remember I got a Switch probably like, I don't even know. Obviously, I can't remember when it came out, but I remember thinking, it was a dumb investment when it came out because I already had um it's a little more up than that I already had like other devices to play with obviously and I was like that's dumb and then like I think it was probably 2020 when I bought mine I feel like it was just before the pandemic started actually maybe just a bit after the pandemic started and I was like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna get a switch I got nothing else to do I'm trying to decide I think it's more like this but that's not the vibe hmm. I think actually it's probably one of this but with red tiles and instead that's perfect that is absolutely perfect and then we've got a little chimney hmm. now chimneys are like a little different in the sims from like obviously real life i think because it's more of a square chimney and i don't particularly want to use um there we go i don't particularly want to use like make a fake chimney with walls because you can do that i don't want to do that though um now the outside so in animal crossing you can make houses look different you can buy personalization like customization but i'm just gonna be doing what my house looks like because I don't I don't remember all the customization options so I think the thing is Windenburg is probably the best one for this but I actually don't know Windenburg what pack is Windenburg it's get together right yeah I'm just gonna like look at all that yeah it's kind of like this kind of stuff but I don't really know how to recreate that exactly in the sims because it's more like it's not exactly like that obviously you're not gonna get anything perfect but I'm trying to like kind of recreate it you know so I think the issue is like this bit's gonna be the hardest because it's got kind of like a it's like it like has one here and then it has like two there and it has like things there like these like pole things but that's not a thing in the sims so i think maybe just doing something like that is gonna have to be the the i was gonna call it a sacrifice but it's not it's not a sacrifice um i don't know what it's called it's like a compromise that's what it's called and i also don't like how these are like i don't know because it is stone usually behind that and i don't know maybe i'll yeah <laughs> like figure something out um maybe i'll look up other house options because i don't really like this okay there is a cobblestone one um and i don't have that one but now i kind of want to change my house to that one so um anyway but we're gonna do that so it's kind of giving this right it's kind of giving this vibe oh that's like way more perfect than i could have ever imagined that's exactly what it's giving that's great um now the houses are like tiny in in animal crossing right like they'd probably be like this big maybe but obviously Obviously, we need to have a sim live here. So it needs to be a little bit bigger. And I think these doors are kind of perfect as long as I can get the right one. Maybe I can't get the right one. I was going to say it has to have the same kind of cobblestone outline. Um, hmm. Because I wanted to have black cobblestones on the outside to match like what this is. But it's not really happening, is it? Apparently not right now. It also needs to be up like I think two. Because usually you have steps, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying to make this very true to life. It's not working very well. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if there are any other stone doors that we could use as opposed to the cottage living one. But I think right now that's like what suits the most. Even, I mean, obviously get together has one, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to match the brick in it and I'd rather match the kind of door. I mean, the kind of door, in, it just doesn't look very Animal Crossing-y, you know? <laughs> you get my vibe. I just want something. Of course, Animal Crossing has like different, different what's the oh even this one like no it's not it's not a happy animal crossing because animal crossing is obviously very different graphics what i was trying to say um than the sims so it's not exactly giving exactly what we want i don't know it's just very happy like bright colors so i might sacrifice the brick outline of the door to have more brighter colors in the door but i still want the the doors in animal crossing are kind of circular which is why i'm kind of thinking one of these but i i want a brighter color than blue so i'm not so sure if that's like what I'd prefer to have. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look through. See, one of these doors is like kind of perfect, but because of like the paint stripping and stuff, it's not exactly what I want. But if it if they didn't have the paint stripping and it was like a brighter brighter red, it might look better. That's why I'm kind of like, oh, I just gave myself way too many doors there. But I'm like, ah, oh, if I just put it in a brighter color, will it fit more? But this doesn't look very Animal Crossing like. They just make it so hard to recreate it, don't they? Even if I try for white, honestly, white might be our best option. Okay, so this is kind. 
on the outside. It's not really looking like an Animal Crossing house, but I think we've got the main vibe. Now we gotta like decorate it, you know? This is something that is actually, we could get more similar. Except Animal Crossing, it's more like blocky. Not blocky, cause like The Sims is very blocky. There's not many circle like aspects of the, obviously there's circle items, but you know what I mean? But I'm trying to get a brick that looks exactly like this one. Um, and it's like cobblestone. It's kind of like this actually. I think get together honestly is our best bet for like Animal Crossing, which is so weird. I don't know why that is. Um, but in my house, I have like these cute little picket fence things. I don't know how to, I know there are picket fences, like a white picket fence in The Sims. I don't know how easy it's gonna be find. Even if I use this fence um, from like the toddler stuff pack, I know that's a bit weird, but this is kind of exactly what the fence looks like in my game, at least. I feel like that it's giving very um, Animal Crossing a bit. And now, okay, I know there's a flamingo decoration for outside and there is also a flamingo decoration in um, in Animal Crossing. So I felt like maybe I also have that in my front yard. So I feel like that may be the vibe. I'm also thinking of like sizing these up, but I don't know if that's a good idea. That was That's scary, but it is looking more Animal Crossing like. So maybe it's more the, the ideal. Animal Crossing also has like flowers. Um, <laughs> I don't even know. I also don't even know if I'm gonna get to the outside because I fit, I mean the inside, because it's kind of hard to do the inside. Now they have flowers, but they're just like singular flowers. So I don't really know how I'm gonna replicate that in The Sims 4. They do have trees though. So maybe I'll try and replicate the trees first and then look into the flowers. Um, They have very trees like this kind of, I guess. It looks enough like a tree, doesn't it? Yeah, I feel like. And then for flowers, I'm just really not sure because the flowers, they're kind of like singular. Like it'd be like this little bag it would just be like not even this I don't know how to describe it if you haven't seen it I don't really know how to describe it but it's just like having it's like this kind of it's just kind of like having one singular flower but it wouldn't be this type of flower it would be like the flowers like here I guess they have like mums and roses and and lilies they have lilies so maybe I'm just trying to think what we could put but I kind of think maybe just doing something like this and calling it like a flower but I don't really know I do want to add some rocks into the outside because I feel like that's a bit funny Maybe we have a bush like this because they do have bushes in the game, but they kind of look more like this So maybe I could do something like that. Yeah, and then I want to add a rock because in the game if you hit rocks You get like money and stuff So I feel like having like this this thing called like a rock circle that you can make It's just like the easiest way to use your <laughs> utilize your rock So I feel like if we make a little rock circle in our yard kind of kind of funny kind of a little bit of a meme Not a meme, but like, you know, they also they have different shaped rocks So I could kind of like um, I'm trying to think what's one other thing Thing that we could like decorate the front yard with you know maybe hmm. they definitely have like a table of and chairs that's kind of like these chairs so maybe i'll get these and try and find a table that fits them it's like an outdoor table though so i don't know the thing is the sims doesn't have much kind of outdoorish stuff if you will like they do they do but they just don't have what i'm looking for actually it's kind of more like these but in green i could get these out maybe i'll get them out and just see what i find i just want like a, it's like a garden table kind of like like this I guess but it is I don't know if that's like the best we're gonna get 